Call a regular city commission meeting in order to please rise to the dedication of the Father of the Father of our country. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity we have here this evening. We ask, Lord, that you bless this city commission and give us the wisdom that you want us to have to make the decisions in the best interest of our citizens. Lord, here today that there's been 226 policemen that have been shot this year in the United States. Lord, reach out to this country. We need your healing hand. Please be with all of our first responders and all of our employees. For all those things we ask in this blessed name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome all here this evening. First on the agenda tonight is approval of the minutes from our July the 27th meeting. They have been distributed. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, we need a motion. Move to approve the minutes. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Second. Motion second. All in favor <coughs> signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. Regular business. Recommendation to approve purchase order to cars car construction for ADA improvements at the Little League Field. City Manager. Yes, sir. Good evening, Mayor Commissioner. So this project consists of installing ADA improvements. Uh, parking area access improvements along the sidewalk repairs at various points within the Little League and Marble Fields. Uh, we are recommending to award this to Cap Car Construction Company, which is one of our continuing services contracts for a work in the amount of $66,321. Uh, staff would recommend approval. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Mm -hmm. Questions from the Commission? You know what's needed. <laughs> a lot more. I'll move to approve, man. Okay, we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. The motion is second. Call in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. Recommendation to approve the purchase order to Pegasus Engineering for design plans on a story and card. Yes, sir. Good evening, Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, the intersection of Story and Carter Roads requires some safety improvements. Uh, the project design improvements will be the addition of a westbound left turn deceleration lane and a northbound right turn lane. The design also includes the addition of a mass farm traffic signal, drainage improvements, and the addition of a reclaimed water main. Uh, staff would recommend approving a purchase order to Pegasus Engineering to produce design plans for the intersection of Story and Carter Roads. Uh, in the amount of $149,841.50. And I'll be happy to answer any questions. Questions from the commission? My comments were as usual, the sarcasm is $150,000 in 12 months in the design. <laughs> Not the work, just in the engineering design. Yes. Uh, so, okay. Well, we need it. Any questions from the commission? I really hope they got a lot of underground utility work for all this. Is that, are we putting some of the power underground at that location? Uh, uh, well, no. Well, once we get a survey, we'll. This is just design. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. All yeah. the utilities in the area. The cost of everything is really going up. Yeah, it is. I move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Recommendation to approve one year extension of service contract with control specialist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The existing service contract has an initial period of three years with two one year extensions available preceding the initial period. Uh, the, this request is for the first year of that extension for the service contract. Uh, the attached key, fee schedule includes a 5% increase uh, from the, the cost at the, the three, third year in the original contract. Um, there are some additional costs for materials that have increased uh, since the, it was first signed in 2019. Staff would recommend approving an extension of the service contract for control specialist for one year beginning October 1st, 2023. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions from the commission? I'll move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Oh. Motion carried unanimously. Thank you, sir. 
Madam Citizens Board of Government. Gretchen Toe, 512 North Lakeview Avenue, Winter Garden. My husband asked me why I laughed as a former board member of Winter Garden Little League. Hooray! <laughs> it's way overdone, overdue. Congratulations. <laughs> Commissioners, Mayor, good evening. I'm Sarah Wolf, 221 North Boyd Street, Mayor Garden. I am your friend. Friends say something to their friends that sometimes are tough to hear. I'm telling you that the resolution stopping journalists from asking questions during this open session of the commission meeting is wrong. And I'll tell you why. I can't keep in track of everything that goes on here in Winter Garden or Windermere or local environment. So questions that are asked during this session are important to me. And if I don't find out about them, then I can't address them or even come to you, my friends, to talk with you about it, can I? So as a friend, now it's your turn to talk to me and assure me that you will take another look at this resolution and stop it. Just said okay, I understand you. See, as a friend, I would say, well, tell me more about that. I'm tough. I want to know more. Uh, Mayor, Commissioner, you, you certainly can address that, but my thought is that you know the city is in discussions with the First Amendment Foundation and we're considering changes. But we're waiting on them to provide us with that. Well, thank you for listening to me. I think yes, it's important for me to tell you that as a resident here, I am your friend. And, and I'm not saying this because I don't like you personally. It's that resolution that I don't like. And I would plead with you to rescind it. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Commissioners, Mr. Artiman. Well, it has been a very interesting couple of weeks, hasn't it? I want to say a few things as the Editor-in-Chief of Vox Populi, and my name is Noreen Dworkin, Editor-in-Chief of Vox Populi, wintergardenbox.com. Um, thank you so much, Sarah. That was very nice. It is the media's role to hold government accountable. That's what I do here in the city. I cover government and politics. People depend on me for it. Um, this is often a relationship that has some tension, but it doesn't need to be an adversarial relationship. And I hope that it won't be, because for the foreseeable future, um, despite the city's intimidation tactics, um, I'm not going anywhere. I will continue to stand at this podium and ask questions that need to be asked, and I will be reporting on the stories that need to be reported. And I'm really hoping that at some point, Chief Graham will tell me that I'm no longer under police investigation. The second thing that I want to talk about, um, I want to ask for Resolution 2302 for the media rules to be completely repealed. Now, I understand that you're in discussions with the First Amendment Foundation. Um, to have them revised, but no fewer than six organizations have told you that these rules are unconstitutional. The First Amendment Foundation for starters, the Brecker Center for Freedom of Information Project at University of Florida, the Florida Center for Government Accountability, the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press, and I've also spoken with the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, and the Society for Professional Journalists, this situation happening here in Winter Garden is being discussed at their national board meeting this evening. These rules are unconstitutional. Curbing media access to elected officials is unconstitutional. And as we know, the Orlando Sentinel also said it's flat out wrong. This is really not, I just, I cannot believe that this is how you want beautiful winter garden to be perceived in the media. 
this is not how you want Winter Garden to be, how you want Winter Garden to be thought of, you know, where constitutional rights go to die. I, mean, I didn't even have to remind Scott Maxwell that this is where somebody was ousted for not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. He remembered that all on his own. The fact is, you don't need special rules for the media under Resolution 2302. The media can be handled just under the regular rules for public decorum. Apart from just having a special place for media to set up with, with a video camera, we all know how to behave so that the media can be conducted, so that meetings can be conducted and you can do city business. We do not need a special set of rules designed just for us. Pretty sure that we can all just behave ourselves under the rules for public decorum. No other city has rules like this. So I am asking you humbly to please repeal these rules. Thank you very much. Bob Buchanan, 148 Roper Drive. I ask that you not repeal it and that you stand strong as a commission. It's amazing that we were here over a hundred years and we never needed any of these things and nothing like this was ever questioned. That all of a sudden now they want to bring this wokeness to Winter Garden that they are trying to force on a lot of other places. And uh, I hope, like I said, you guys will stand strong and not let it happen. Thank you. Management City Attorney. Pass, Mayor, thank you. City Manager. Thanks, Mayor, thank you. Uh, okay, Commissioner Sharman. I've got to thank staff for getting the intersection open at uh, <coughs> Hartwood Marsh, Stony Brook, slash Avalon. Everyone is very thankful that was done before the start of school. As we know, people have lost their minds and they forgot how to drop their kids off this first week. <laughs> and the other one was trying to get to work, forgot the kids would be dropped off. Today being the first day of school, it was challenging. And it's been hot <laughs> for those people sitting in cars. Thank you, staff, for that. That's it, Mary. Okay. Commissioner Reeler. Uh, similar. Thank you very much, uh, Don, Steve, the rest of staff for uh, school crossing over there on Bay Street in front of uh, Spent Space. It's a busy place. Look forward to seeing the uh, feet cushions at some point. But nice job. Today was first day. It went really well. Thank you for putting the kids first. Good job. Commissioner Ben. Um, I received an email from a resident of Tuscany um, who's against having golf carts um, come to Tuscany because of the road being so busy in front of it. Um, she was also upset that another commissioner came and took a meeting in her neighborhood and she thought it was inappropriate, her words. I've spoken to Ron on multiple occasions um, about matters in my district being referred to me um, so that I can do my job effectively. I can't do it if I don't know. I did get an email from you afterwards saying you took a meeting and you didn't realize it was my district, but it's on the opposite edge of my district. So very much so not yours. I've gotten people calling me about social media posts, um, car show, um, fountains in downtown, promises that were being made, merchants have complained. And I'd like to know, since we're elected for our districts, is there anything charter-wise um, that says, because the mayor's the only one at large um, that matters in our district. I mean, I know that it's common courtesy, but I'd, I'd like to have a workshop. We were talking about doing that before, because I feel like things like this have to be said in sunshine. Um, or on the dais, which we had before. Um, so anyway, I, I would like to have a workshop. Mayor, Commissioner, I, I think that's fine. Uh, happy to do it. I know we had one scheduled that never happened, both from, from the Sunshine Law, Public Records, Ethics, and Charter uh, permits. So happy to do that. And we can go through what's required, what's uh, allowed, what's, what's right. I know we, we've said before, and you've always been kind, especially in public, but your actions don't match your words. Um, 
and that's happened with staff as well, and, and they're hesitant to say anything when you threaten to fire them. Workshop, please. Well, Lisa, I haven't referred you to all the people, even my own friends, just because you're the, I don't want to deal with it. stuff in their district. They think I can pull some magic wand because they know me, but sorry for sending you extra phone calls. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Do, John, do you want to then come up with a couple dates? Yeah. And uh, send it out to us at the weekend. Uh, I'll see what our availability is and uh, come up with a date for a workshop. We can certainly do that. You, would you prefer to do it just before a commission meeting? Probably it would be easiest yeah. well, we because most commissioners are you know here. So if we did it right before our uh, commission meeting, probably be the easiest. I can reach out to everybody and confirm. Okay. Thank you. And if there's any, we can do maybe one or two other things as another commissioner. I might have one thing we can have within the same workshop, so we can meet more than one topic, make it a, a beneficial thirty minutes or so. Can I'll get, I'll get with the city manager to see if you will the give, timeline. I'd like to give it, yeah, a yes. little bit so everybody has yes. time to think about it ahead of time, absolutely, rather than just show up and okay. be cut cold. No, get an agenda and kind of the city manager can kind of have a timeline of what he would think so we can cover, yeah, uh, my topic plus Lisa's, okay, or if anybody else wants to throw something on there, okay, okay. thank you. Anything else, okay, with that. I would also like to thank the uh, staff as the roads are ready, the sidewalks, and uh, school started, and overall, I thought you went fairly well today, so thank y'all. That will adjourn.